this is Silicon Republic's gadget review. This week we've got the brand new 3G iPhone and we're going to go through all the new nifty features on it. The biggest one being that it's super fast unlike the Edge network which you know well made it really slow to load up pages but this time we're actually going to get a proper sort of computer desktop web experience on the de on the handset. So the latest incarnation of the iPhone 3G one as the name suggests is on a super fast network uh, in comparison to the last one which was Edge. Edge was pretty damn slow it was like wading through treacle really whereas this is like grease lightning you get a web page bang it's up there in seconds it's not as good as wi-fi obviously but it's getting there so if you're roaming and surfing you're going to get a good experience one exciting new development that's actually happened alongside the 3g iphone has been the app store and this means that for the first time third-party applications can actually be put on this legitimately as in you weren't going to have to go off jailbreak it yourself, which isn't really legal and will break the contract. So this means that there's loads of cool games to download that use the accelerometer. So basically, when you turn it to the side, it flips, it can detect motion. Now, this is what a lot of third party programmers have been using to get cool games onto the iPhone. So you can have like a car racing game. So flip it to the side and you can steer from side to side. So a lot of people are excited about this because you can get these games not just on the 3G iPhone, but on your old your older phone or on the iPod Touch. As long as you upgrade to the firmware too. Problem is a lot of people have hacked their iPhones, so they're screwed. So here we go with the new 3G iPhone. And on first look, the main difference is the back of it. It's shiny and black and glossy. And if we look at it side by side with the old one, mass boring not as sexy but it does scratch a little less easily and turning them to the side you can see it's actually thicker in the middle that's because of the 3g functionality but it tapers out to sort of a more design friendly thinner edge so if we take a look at the tops of the two iphones you can see that the old one's got a recessed socket which meant that you couldn't stick any old earphones into it only the ones that came with the iphone this has been got rid of so the new iphone you can put any earphones you want in so you're probably wondering how much this sexy handset's going to cost you well, uh, I don't really know. Oh, right, okay. Uh, well, O2 are selling it. It's only available from Carphone Warehouse in O2. You can get the 8 gig one for 49 euros, not bad, but you only get 700 minutes and 250 texts a month. And it goes up to 229 euros for the 16 gig one. Further details on the pricing and tariffs for the iPhone can be found on www.o2.ie. And for an in-depth review of the iPhone itself, you can go to our site, www.siliconrepublic.com. So until next time, goodbye.